Hey, what's up? How y'all doing? This is my Southern Opinion. Welcome back. Let's get into some battle rap. Queen of the Ring, No Holds Barred is going on right now. Let me bring you the first two matchups, which is Diesel versus, excuse me, we got Cedar the Boss versus Farrah Funeral. This wasn't a hard battle to call. Um, Let's get right into this. See the boss went first. She had a bar about bird to speak. I didn't get too much out of uh, see the boss's first round. It was very lackluster to say the least. Farrah funeral started off real slow, but then she kicked it up in the gear, and the stick, the stick under the nose. It ain't a COVID test. Fire. I'm the reason this bitch wigging. Uh, Farrah let her be known that she do her hair. Uh, see the boss said it first though in her first round, um, but yeah, fair funeral does see the boss hair, so that was. Then she also had a bar pill sleeper. I got fair funeral winning that first round just because her bars are a lot better. See the boss come on. She had the brother polite bar that was fire in her second. And uh, fair funeral. Now this is where. Farrah Funeral loses this battle. Round two and three, Farrah was stumbling way too much. She had the Gremlins bar, the Jazz did QP, but she was stumbling way too much. Then she finally said time. So by now, it's one, one to one going into the third. See, the balls had a solid round. C came on better with the shoe. Need a pole to stay safe. Pigeon toe. All fire. Solid round. No chokes. No stumbles. Now, Farrah Funeral comes on. She says, Tangle bitches. She had the fast food bar. Then she starts stumbling, bumbling, and fumbling super hard. At this point, I'm like, nah, man. See the boss won this. 2 1. Over, I guess, default because. She choked a little, uh, way too much. Fair funeral. This is your return battle. A lot of people expecting a lot out of you. You just dropped the ball. Now let's get into this body bag. Ooh wee! Let's get into this body bag. I apologize. I sincerely apologize to Yoshi G. I said that you were gonna get mopped. I said that you was gonna lose this battle. I'm wrong. I apologize to you, young lady. You did your thing. You fucking wigged out for three rounds. This is the best three rounds you ever seen from Yoshi G. Yoshi G won this battle 3-0. Clearly. I wish you would say that, that Lady Caution got around. Man, where do I start? All right, Yoshi G. She name flipped her ass to death. Soon as they flipped the coin, she volunteered to go first, or either fair funeral lost the coin toss, so she went first. But Yoshi G went first. She say her pussy eggs are dead. You can't have kids. I'm like, damn, she start this bitch off personal. Then she called her Brittany. After saying her name is Brittany, her whole first round was nothing but Brittany schemes or Plan B. She had a she had a Plan B scheme. Everything had something to do with Britney. Man, she had a bar saying the nigga fetter lines. Britney fetter lines. Britney fetter line, her baby daddy. There was a backup dancer. Bruh, the whole room goes crazy. Then she gonna say, you'll tell me to stop being, y'all tell me to stop with the thought bars and stop being like a thought, but then y'all wanna out whore me. Fire. The whole room goes crazy after the bar. She said glass slipper. Something about rock and, um, uh, you know, uh, Snow White and her going to the ball. Something about the glass slipper. Whole room goes crazy. Now, Lady Caution. She comes on with the here and now. The spirit bar, like the spirit plane. Then all of a sudden she chokes. It's over. I got at this point one oh. Yoshi comes back on. Yoshi goes even more crazier in the second than in the first. Yoshi says, 
something about fat bitches and how she in better shape. Then she says your name is on yellow tape. She had a bar, Ground Zeroes, Boy Meets World bar. Then she said you can't get a rock on your finger. Toy Story scheme. Then she had a ghost scheme. At this point, I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? This girl is snapping. Lady Caution, come on. She had a Sydney Prescott bar in her third. And when I tell you her third round wasn't all, it wasn't much of nothing either. At this point, what well, is her second round? At this point, Yoshi G comes on for a third. Now, at this point, I'm saying this is body bag. This is too much. She said, you fighting with your nigga over costumes. Then she talk about how Rock is sleeping with different girls while you may be at the hotel room twiddling your thumbs. He out fucking bitches. And basically, you just a back burner hoe. You know what I'm saying? It went off on her ass. Yoshi G stock has just risen up. She right before she was before all this whole QP and all that kind of allegation shit. She really made a name for herself in this battle. This was fire. I think y'all enjoy it. If I tell you a duck can pull a truck, man, hook him up. I'll be back to you with C3 verse Vixen the Assassin.